In this video, I'm going to show you how you can call a flow from a power app and make the power app wait until the flow responds to it. My name is Colin Kelly Cook. I'm an Office 365 and Power Platform developer. This is my channel where I share with you all my knowledge on everything Power Apps, SharePoint, and Office 365. Please subscribe, set up an alert so you know when my latest video is out. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Now I hold my hands up to this one. I only found out about this the other day and it absolutely blew my mind. I've been building power apps for two years. I don't know when this came about or if it's always been there. I wish I'd found it sooner. Um, this is a really good one for user experience. So take this scenario, you're building a power app and you need to go off and perform a complex set of steps or you need to go off and connect to different set of um, information and you can't do it within your power app for whatever reason the formula is too long and complicated or there's a wait time um, that you just don't know how long that's going to be so what we can do is we can send off some information to a flow and we can wait for the flow to reply before we allow the app to continue doing what it's doing um, using two very simple things in the flow a trigger um, and a response and i'm going to show you exactly how to do that so that we can um, think about all the other amazing ways that we can use this. So, without further ado, let's quickly get started by just adding in a text input here and then adding in a button. Um, now, as I say, for example, this is going to be very simple. We could just chuck a string into a data source, no problem. But let's imagine, for example, we need to do something more complex with it. So I've got my text here. I need to send it off to a flow. So let's go and build the flow. So we create a new instant cloud flow. The instant cloud flow can be cloud or app trigger. We can click on Power Apps, click Create. Now in here, we will initialize the variable. Initialize. Initialize variable. And we will call this variable input string. And there is a string. And then we're going to click, uh, actually first, we're just going to rename this to input string because otherwise asking power apps will give it the same name as the action and we're going to do asking power apps and now let's save that quickly and see what that looks like in power apps so now on my button if i click action and click on power automate i can pick my new flow called app trigger add that in and up here it's going to say okay in order to run it you need to give it an input string value which we have in our text input for dot text so we're going to send it the text from that yep 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 i'm going to send it the text from that now if i was to just click that normally it would send that off to the flow and my app would continue running it doesn't know or care when the flow finishes that could take five minutes ten minutes and sometimes like we say we maybe that we need to wait for our user to um see that change before they can continue off doing what they're doing. Specifically, recently I was running queries against the SQL database, which involved some manipulation of specific text to make a um, SQL query, which then we would run, and I needed to wait for that to come back before they perform the next part. And that's how I used this. So the key ingredient here is we go back into our Power App, and let's say we were to set the variable to something completely different. So we go through 100 million different factors and we eventually get to somewhere so we're going to change our input string to changed value and then we're going to go and let's just for example we're going to go and create an item in my sharepoint site dev string and the title is going to be the new input string so we're going to do our manipulations go and create an item um, and then we can use um, operation called respond to power app or flow so that is going to send a message back to the uh, power app that originated the flow to say I'm done now that could happen anywhere in our app 
for us it's going to happen here at the end it could happen at some point when we know we've reached a certain place in our flow that we can carry on with the app so let's save oh, let's save that okay and then let's go in here now in this button if we was to just run this as is again it would just carry on um, it sends the trigger and then it just carries on doing what it's doing so the other key ingredient is we need to run a clear collect so we do a clear collect um, return doesn't really max we're not actually going to use it for this example and then we're going to perform something afterwards so we're going to refresh our data source dev string okay now let's add um, the dev string data source let's just chuck a gallery in at the bottom to dev string a huge item look at label string one now there's already one in there string one um okay so now it's going to happen really fast so i recommend you go away and test this with some larger flows maybe put some weights into your flow um but here i'm going to put a text input new input and then I'm going to press this button and watch how this button stays grayed out for probably a little bit longer than it normally would while it waits for that flow to finish and then it's going to carry on and actually just let's just check we did put a refresh in yep so once it's happy it's finished it's going to do the refresh and we should see the information down here so let's press that button see how it took slightly longer the refresh has happened and we're not seeing any data something's not right That's very strange and wonderful. That is always the way when we are doing a demo. Let's chuck that back in there. Don't know where that went. Text input four dot text. Isn't it great when a plan comes together dot text. And then um, clear collect return app trigger blah 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 refresh dev string bosh seems to have struggled there but never mind right let's just go in here and see what happened didn't actually make it to the flow so we can test this again new input and then that took a few more seconds it actually went to the flow which if we come over here and refresh we will see the run so it received the information from power apps did everything we needed to do and then responded back we can send the information back um, but i won't go into that here this is just purely so that we can see that it waited that time then refresh the data so hopefully you can come up with some more amazing uses for that um, and hopefully in the future i'll do a bigger app so we can see how that can be used in multiple ways um, we also saw how things get broken sometimes but we fixed it pretty quickly as well so thanks for joining me and i'll see you in the next video